All right, so today we're going to uh, set up CDP on an extreme switch. Um, right now we have a VLAN configured on the uplink port um, getting out, so I assume I'm taking it that you already have a VLAN configured as well on your switch. Um, we are just going to tag the port and then set up the CDP uh, config on this port. Um, I'll show you right now that there's nothing on CDP and that nothing on CDP is actually being advertised on our port um, which we have port 1 set up with a phone, a Cisco phone right now. So show CDP neighbors. You can see there's nothing being advertised right now. And then show config EDP. This is show config EDP is actually the statement within the config file where the CDP will actually be at and it's blank right now. So we will configure CDP now. The port that you enable has to be tagged for CDP work. Enable CDP port one. Configure CDP VoIP. VLAN, because this is a voice VLAN. Port one, and, config. Power. and we are advertising the power on this port so that way the Cisco phone that we have connected to it will get the right power settings from the switch. So now we can go look at our config. So all three statements are in there. And if we do a show CDP neighbors, now our phone is being populated <coughs> with our CDP. Now, if we want to disable these commands, um, we can't just disable CDP port one. That will not wipe out all, all of these commands. Um, we actually have to enter in three separate commands to d get all this stuff out of here. So I'll show you that now. So notice that we still have two commands here that we need to get rid of. Now, if we do show config EDP, it's blank. So now we're back out of the default settings. And that's pretty much it.